Yes. So I think controlling almost anything in the home from a nap is what people see in the future. So, you know, the Internet of Things is sort of only restricted by people's imagination. The number of things that can be connected to the Internet of Things. Their own connected thermostats, connected security systems, connected alarms, connected uh, smoke alarms, so many things in the home. And a lot of Chinese companies at CES showing a lot of things in the kitchen connected, showing your fridge to be connected, um, barcoding, and you know, when you put your food in the fridge, it shows when it went in there, so everything would be stored in memory that's inside the fridge. So there's a need for sensors in those appliances as they get smarter. We, we talked this morning about a, 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 a single shot coffee maker, uh, which have you know, proliferated a lot. Uh, and, and a, a pretty significant design win in coffee makers to detect that there's a r the right amount of, of water in the machine so that it doesn't start trying to make coffee if there isn't water there. So sensing and making equipment smarter so that it's more reliable is happening in things that in the past would have been fairly simple appliances, whether it was a simple electromechanical washing machine or coffee maker, Ten years ago, you didn't have sensors in coffee makers. You didn't have single cup coffee makers. So there's a whole proliferation of those. And now we see those being connected to the internet, just like a fridge connected to the internet. So um, so in the car at the moment, it's 44 degrees. So I can you know, decide I would like the car to be 70 degrees when I go out there. So it's set to 70 degrees. So it's starting um, to warm up So it's now? starting to warm up. Now. <laughs>